guys, I have a haul video for you guys, and it's going to be like a bunch of random places. It's going to be the Dollar Tree, Walmart, um, Walgreens, where else? Just like some uh, Five Below, what else? Um, something that someone actually gave me. Like, I want to show you guys all this stuff, but I just want to apologize for the setup. I have to do it this way on my desk because... I'm sitting directly in front of the window and our electricity just went out. We've been having some storms and stuff here. And um, Justin just went down the road to grab some stuff at the gas station. And the, apparently a power line is down. So I don't have electricity right now. So you'll have to forgive me if this video is kind of dark. But I wanted to show you guys really quick while I had some extra time. So I can go ahead and put all this stuff away. Some of it I've already been using. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing is, is this cell phone case. My sister actually traded me for one um, of my cell phone cases. It is the Lumi case. And it basically just looks like this. It does have a charger that you can charge it with. Um, it's the white one and if you push this button on the back of it, it charges down here You push this little button on the back of it and you can actually um, make it light up and you can make it go like um, You can make it go dimmer or you can make it go brighter So like I said, we traded for that. You can find those on Amazon This case right here Let me move this out of the way this case right here I actually got at five below. Um, it's just a two-parter. It has silicone here and then like the little blue thing on the back. Um, it was nice. It was $5. Oh, there's some Goodwill stuff in here too. I got this one at five below and I keep it inside the packaging because it is a clear silicone case. And this is one of my favorite cases now. It just has some really pretty dream catchers on the back of it. This was $5 and it is an Eris Moon case. And I really, really like this case a lot. Next case that I got at Five Below, if I can reach it here, is just a plain clear case. And when I get clear silicone cases like this, I do tend to leave them in the packaging um, when I'm not using them because they discolor. So um, this one has not even been opened yet, but it is. Uh, it was five dollars, and it, like I said, it did come from Five Below. And I just really like these clear cases because I have the gold iPhone, and I just really like seeing it. So. Okay, next is Goodwill. Yesterday I went to Goodwill to get me some maternity pants and I found two cases there for 99 cents to fit my phone. So this is one of them. It is just got um, the little, what do they call it, quicksand cases where you could shake it and you know all this stuff flows everywhere. And then that, the other one I actually have on my phone. I'll this show you. This is the quick. other one. It is just a pressed flower case. It was also 99 cents as well as this one. Um, I was really impressed with this one because I've always wanted a pressed flower case, but they're so expensive. Even if you look them up on eBay and stuff like that, you're going to pay anywhere from like, you know, seven to ten dollars and a lot more for them. So when I found this one there for 99 cents, I just about peed my pants because I've always wanted a pressed flower phone case. And it is one of the silicone ones, which are my favorite. So I was pretty happy with this one. And this one is on my phone right now because I freaking love it. Okay, the next phone cases I'm going to show you guys, I actually got them at the Dollar Tree. So if you guys want some phone cases for your phone, definitely hit up the Dollar Tree because I got some new ones in. This is a silicone one and it just has a bunch of um, different languages of hello and goodbye on here. And I just thought this was nice. They also had this one in black with white writing. Okay, next I got this one. This one is a hard plastic one, and I just really like the looks of this one. It's really nice on your phone, especially if you have a white phone. Um, it's just a, one of those snap-on plastic cases, but I like the design. Okay, this one is just a tan one with some rhinestones in it. It is also hard plastic. You guys forgive my nails. I'm actually getting ready to do them. <laughs> Um, I really like this one and then the one that I got just like it looks like this and it's just white with the rhinestones and I really like these type of cases. They look quilted and this one is just a bling one that says love with a really pretty flower on it and it's black and it's also a hard plastic case. Okay, next I want to show you my journal that I got at Walmart. This is going to be my brand new journal that I'm using now. Um, I have a ton of journals but when I saw this one at Walmart yesterday it was like $7 and something. I had to get it because of the type of paper that it had in it. It has so many different ones. And I like the spiral bound so that way when you're writing, you can actually flip over the co cover and it's a lot more, um, it's a lot easier to hold and stuff like that. This is the three in one journal with three sections. It's ruled, grid, and blank paper. 
How awesome is that? So you can actually journal in here. You can actually write in here like a diary. You can, I'm just going to do so many things in this journal. It has 160 pages in each section. So it's very, very big. It has elastic band that keeps it shut. It also have, has these little divider things that separates the type of paper. So it has this paper. And if you flip over, this is my favorite paper to write on. If you guys watch my um, Bible videos, you guys will hear me talking about grid paper. I love writing on grid paper. And then last but not least is just some blank paper. Oh my gosh, I'm just in love with this journal so much and I can't wait to start using it, but I wanted to show you guys first. And they had a lot of different designs, but this is the one that I chose. Okay, I needed some more baby wipes to take off my makeup. However, this time I did not get the Pamper Sensitive. I wanted to try these. These were cheaper. These are 75 cents a package and you get not 80 soft wipes in them. So I'm gonna give them a try and see what they're like and I'll let you guys know if I like them. I got two packages of these. Also at Walmart, I got some new body wash. This is a soft, soft soap limited edition vanilla cream. And I really like this. I got some new, some shampoo and stuff. This is the color protection by Suave. I love this line of shampoo and conditioner. It is freaking amazing. If you guys haven't tried it, it's amazing. Try it. And it's very inexpensive. Um, it's for color treated hair. And I also got the conditioner to go with it. These I found... These I actually found at my King Dollar. It is the Moisturizing Body Wash and the Body Splash Spray. Um, these are by Love's Brand, and they smell so good. They are the um, Berry Sweet. Oh my gosh, they smell so good. We've already been using some of the body wash, but I wanted to show you guys. I paid $1.25 for these, and these things are going for like $7 and $8 a, a bottle. Um, and they're the big bottles. They're the... 12 fluid ounces. So this is a really good find. Also at my King Dollar, I found some of these um, C'est La Vie BB creams. I got one in natural and one in beige just to try them out. Haven't really put them on my face or anything to see how the good they're going to do. Just took them out of the packaging, but I paid $1.25 for these and they're literally going for over $10 online. So that was a really good, um, a really good find. I also picked up one of these baby lips at my local King Dollar. I'm not sure what color this is. Um, it's just the purple one. It's just the baby lips. These right here, these L'Oreal Paris um, Invaluable Lip Colors. Oh my gosh, I picked these two of these up at my King Dollar. I guess they're being discontinued or whatever. Um, one I got in Mahogany. This one is in Garnet. And they literally, you just push them up. If I can get them to push up. Push them up, take the lid off using them. You put the lip color on first. You let it dry for about two minutes. Then you put the other color on it. It just gives it a little bit of shine. These things, I'm not joking, guys. They lasted on my lips the entire day yesterday. I'm talking like 10 hours. I was eating, drinking, like freaking everything. And it lasted on my lips. And not to mention when I woke up this morning, I still had a line around the outer part of my lips from the one I wore yesterday. So I am really liking these a whole, whole lot. Hey, okay, got some little deco tapes at, um, Dollar Tree. I'm actually kind of bummed because I'm having to start all over with my washi tape collection. I left most of it in West Virginia. Well, I left it all in West Virginia and I have to start all over. So I was pretty happy that they had seven rolls for a dollar yesterday and they were the thin rolls. I've never had the thin ones before. Um, so if you guys can kind of see here without the glare on it, there's like some of the prints for that one. And I got this one and then I got this one. So I was pretty happy about getting those because, like I said, I just got my journal and I can't wait to start using my journal. I found these nails yesterday at the Dollar Tree. They look so pretty. Little mermaid nails. Got them. Um, speaking of nails, I got another pack of my absolute favorite nails at Walgreens. I'm getting ready to put these on. These are the Kiss Acrylic Nails and they are gorgeous. I love them so much. Then, last but not least, I got some wax melts. Um, some of these came from the Dollar Tree. Some of them came from Walmart. These... I don't remember if this one was Walmart or Dollar Tree. Maybe it was Dollar Tree. I don't know. No, I think it was Walmart. This one was Dollar Tree. It is the Soothing Eucalyptus and Lavender. It smells really good. This one I'm burning right now in my house. It is the Vanilla Wax Cubes. I got some in Fresh Cotton. Oh my gosh, these smell like fresh laundry. And then my absolute all-time favorite is the Zen, and I love this one so much. So anyway, guys, that's my really quick haul. I'm going to go ahead and get off here because I could tell another storm's coming. And it's going to be getting darker and darker, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to be notified when I post new videos, please click the little um, bell 
at the bottom of this video and you'll be notified whenever I put up some new videos. More videos are to come. I love you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys again in my next one. Bye.